Hey guys, Tim here with Camping Fever RV Rentals in Ludington. Um, just picked up two brand new trailers for this year for the rental company. Um, what I did find out is one of the fridges in the unit has an on and off switch. Um, the other unit does not. Um, the fridges now this year are 12 volt only, um, which I'm not very happy with, but it is what it is. Um, the one thing that we have noticed is without an on and off switch, we cannot defrost the fridge. Um, when we bring the units back in after a rental, we defrost the fridge so we can clean them out really good. So we have to add an on and off switch to turn these fridges off. Um, or it'll never defrost. So super easy on these fridges though. Um, there's just screws that hold it in the bottom. And some of them on the top, but this one just had it on the side right here. Um, you pull the unit out and there's just a power wire that comes out of the wall to the fridge. Um, some of the units have a positive, a negative, and a ground. Um, this unit only had a power and a negative. So all you have to do is remove the positive lead from the fridge and you're going to run the main power that came to the fridge into a switch that you're going to install. It's just a 12 volt switch. You can install any one you want. And then what you want to do is you want to grab another piece of wire and run it from the other uh, post on the switch back to your fridge. So all you have to do now is to turn the on and off switch, on or off, turn the fridge off. Um, I ordered this switch online from Amazon. It was like 10 bucks. It's uh, chrome, so it kind of matches the rest of the unit. Um, but I just think it's an easy option. And like I said, pulling the fridge out with two people, super easy. It takes maybe 10 minutes to pull out to do all this work, um, to add the switch and everything, probably about a half an hour's worth of time. So I just thought I'd share it before I put the fridge back. Thanks again.